Hey everybody, I'm Hillary Peel. I'm your Communications Director here at Copper Hills. With me today is Kathy Beachy, the Director for the Center for the Arts. And you might be noticing one important person is missing. Pastor Brad has the week off from the midweek update here, uh, but we still have a lot of great things to talk to you about, and it's gonna be a really big week with some great stuff that you don't wanna miss. So let's get going. And the word of the day, and really the word of the next week is vision. Um, first of all, at this weekend's services, we're gonna take a look at the vision of Jesus and then how we at Copper Hills are actively trying to live out that vision. Um, as you know, at Copper Hills, we're always trying to spend time with Jesus so that we can increasingly think like him and we can increasingly be mistaken for him within our community. So we're gonna take a look at what that means um, a little bit closer this weekend and we hope you can join us for that. Then second, uh, on Wednesday, September 23rd, we're actually going to have a town hall meeting right here on campus. It's also gonna be online, uh, but that's gonna be an even deeper dive into what's going on here at Copper Hills. Um, as you know, in 2020, there have been a lot of changes and we've tried our best to keep you updated through these midweek updates and then also during our weekend services. But there's been so much going on that there's absolutely no way that we can cover that uh, in just those two venues. So we're gonna be doing a town hall. Um, and again, that's gonna be a deeper look at kind of what's been going on over the last couple months, the changes that have impacted our church, but then also kind of an update on where things are now. Um, we'll be giving you a financial update and then taking a look into the future at what our vision is for the fall now that we've regathered um, and some great things that we have coming around the corner. Uh, so again, Wednesday, September 23rd, starting at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. on campus. And then again, we'll have an online option. We'll give you some more information about how to access that if you'd like to watch it online um, as we get a little bit closer, but we really, really hope that you can join us for that. And then finally, and the reason that I have Kathy here is because we're talking about vision and um, of course, community matters here at Copper Hills. That's always been a big piece of our vision. And um, we've always wanted to be an influence for Jesus here in our community. And we've done that through uh, the Well Coffee and of course the Center for the Arts. So we wanted Kathy to join us and kind of talk to us about what that's looked like over the last year. Um, Kathy, you're just celebrating your one year anniversary we at are. the Center for the Arts, so congratulations. Thank you. And uh, we were just hoping that you could give us a little bit of an update on the vision for Center for the Arts and how that's played out over the last year. Absolutely, so like the church and like the coffee shop, we want to be a community gathering place, a place that feels familiar and comfortable where people come and know that they're welcomed. And so we are specifically doing that for artists, for creatives, to have a place to go to be artistic expressive, where artistic expression is fostered and encouraged and taught by people who also really love Jesus and really love people. And so we are excited to celebrate our one year anniversary doing that and having God's presence here. We have about 60% of our classes are filled with people who are not part of Copper Hills. And so we're already seen some of that vision fulfilled that the influence of Christ through the lives of the instructors coming out um, to the people in our community. So we're thrilled about that. Of course, no one ever wants a worldwide pandemic to interrupt the first year of a really big dream, but that is what hap happened, happened to us. And so now we are kind of relaunching in lots of ways, but really looking forward to the fall and as we turn the calendar into next year. Yeah, it's just been incredible what you've been able to do over these last 12 months. And let's talk a little bit more about the impact that COVID has had. Um, obviously, it's kind of changed a lot of things for a lot of people, and the Center for the Arts is no exception. So can you tell us a little bit about what you did during the season of COVID and then kind of what you're doing as we move into the fall? Sure. So the first thing we did was transition our classes and our private lessons to online platforms. So we gave all of our piano lessons, voice lessons, all of our private lessons we did online, and that worked very successfully. We also had some water classes classes, some dance opportunities that we did online for several months. And then through the summer, we gradually started to um, have things on campus. And now we're pretty much back in full swing where we offer things both on campus and online. We know that this is a season where we need to be flexible and offer that flexibility. And so in almost every area, we are offering both in-person and online options to meet the needs of the families in our community. Awesome. So we were talking earlier about a little bit of those um, offerings this fall. Can you talk a little bit about uh, what classes do you have coming up? Yes, so we are already in full swing with several things. Our dance studio is open. We are offering 12 different dance classes. 
this fall from TAP, which is new this year and very popular. It's actually our most full class that we're offering. TAP Jazz Contemporary Ballet. We will soon be offering hip hop as well. We also have some adult drop-in dance classes, so we encourage you to check that out. Our private lessons are back in full swing. Almost every instrument you could imagine. We are giving private lessons here, and as I mentioned online, we have a watercolor class that just started this week, actually. It's not too late to join us if you're still interested. You can hop online and join us tonight. And then there are lots of things coming up for all ages, actually. And so that would include things like musical theater, some craft classes, um, we have improv, we have some girls' night out, uh, actually in October, the first Friday night in October, we're doing a craft night where we're gonna make chunky knit blankets for fall. That sounds like it's a little bit too hot right now, but by the time <laughs> October rolls around, it'll be just right to kick off the fall season. Lots and lots of things happening. And then we look forward to things um, that we will reintroduce, like the creative writing, additional musical theater opportunities, our creative engineering, calligraphy. We had a really popular women's self-defense class that we did this summer. That, ladies, is coming back. <laughs> Stay tuned for more information on that. Photography. Um, just lots and lots of opportunities. Yeah, my goodness, that sounds like the list is endless. It and, really is. Yeah. Anything that falls under the umbrella of the arts, we want to engage in and do. That's awesome. And I know just as a parent, I've been looking for things for my kids to do, and then it sounds like you have some great classes for adults as well. Mm -hmm. So if I wanted to sign up or sign my kid up for something, where would I go and how would I go about doing that? Absolutely. The best way to learn what opportunities are rolling out is to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And then if you're interested in jumping in and participating in a class, you can go to our website, which is copperhillsarts.org, and you'll find all of the information there. We encourage you to, to head there and check it all out. And of course, if you haven't been upstairs to the Center for the Arts area, I'd love to give you a tour. If you happen to be on campus at the coffee shop or just passing by, come on up. I'd love to talk with you, answer any questions that you have and give you a tour of this amazing space that God has provided for us. Great. Well, Kathy, thank you so much. Thanks mm -hmm. for all that you do. And it's just been amazing to watch uh, what Jesus has been able to do in our community for this through the Center for the Arts. So thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. And thanks My for all you do. Uh, again, hope you can join us this weekend as we take a look at the vision of Jesus. Uh, service times are Saturday at 5 p.m. here on campus and then Sunday at 9 a.m. or 1045 a.m. Uh, if you're joining us online, you can do that on Sunday mornings at copperhills.org. And we just hope that you have a wonderful rest of your week and we will look forward to seeing you on the weekend.